Ron. All right, guys, I'm back out at the field with the Skyfighter version two, and I made the four cell mod, and I'm gonna throw it up for the first time here with a four cell. I'm using a pretty small prop just because I wanna see if the motor can handle it first. I got a, a 4.1 by, or no, it's a four and a half by 4.1 APC prop on here. I'm not sure if it's gonna have enough thrust to actually fly it, but we'll see what happens. If it runs with this, then I'm gonna put a little bit bigger prop on and try it again. So here it goes. Okay, we're on. Damn, that thing's roaring. You pick it up? You got it on? Yeah, some. Hold on. Let me put a little more down in it. Sometimes there's some more playing. Damn, that thing's hauling, dude. Did you have it on? You turn on the thing. Squeeze the button. I'm on. Squeeze it. Let go. Okay, it's working. Okay. Come at us. I think it's definitely faster, dude. Yeah, that thing's screaming that motor i think it's probably breaking 100 man. that thing might be faster than your other plane yeah i haven't even put the bigger prop on yet it's only pulling 24 amps with this prop that's it you ready yeah whoa, whoa. what's that that was see uh, that <laughs> turn your uh, getting close to the ground elevator <laughs> down dude when you're going that fast your dual rates no that was a Save it mode, man. You ready? Here goes. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight, though. A little faster. I don't think that had a full. Ninety-four. I don't think that had a good uh, full run. No, I don't either. I think the batteries are getting low. I think that thing's definitely breaking a hundred, though. Here we go again, Tom. Put everything down on your dual rate. You got them up. Hold on. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight again. Okay. So it looks like ninety-eight, but that's it was only ninety-four with the other, yeah. wasn't it? So you picked up four miles an hour. That thing's humming though. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one to do your uh, Doppler sound check with. No doubt, man. Yeah. That was a good pass. 98. 98. So best uh, is 98. Uh, 98. Okay. I'm it in I want to yeah, you better let the motor cool too. Check it out. So that's a 22.12.6 motor running on a four cell. 98 miles an hour, that's not bad. And it still floats. Pretty good. That's a 30 motor or $30 motor uh, nice ESC landing. combo, huh? Yeah. That's well, you I got a different ESC to though. To, Eternity ESC to handle the four uh, cells. The Supo stock ESC wouldn't handle a four cell. So it's got a 30 amp Eternity on here now. But it's the same uh, motor. Look how small the prop is on there though. What size was that prop? That's a four and a half by 4.1. How is it? Uh, I guess it's hot. Yeah. Hot or just don't take you long to look at a motor? Yeah, it just don't take you long to look at a motor, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to prop up on this one. Uh, that was pretty good, though. It picked up another four miles an hour from the fastest uh, speed clock that I got with the three cell. Yeah, I'd suggest looking at your motor windings to make sure they ain't turning brownish black. No. Everything okay? Just a little hot. Man, that's a tough little motor, man. So how much is that motor without the ESC usually? The price? Yeah. This is like, it's like 19 15 or to $18 dollars, <laughs> something, something like that. On uh, rchotdeals.com. 
Okay guys, we just saw the Skyfighter version 2's first flight with the 4-cell. Um, I decided to go ahead and do this mod because a couple of the viewers on our YouTube channel mentioned they thought they'd like to see what it would do on a 4-cell, so I went ahead and made the modification. Um, I'm using very small Turnigy 1300 milliamp 30C 4-cells. Um, the amazing thing is, um, with these batteries, the plane pretty much still weighs right about the same as it did with the 3-cell. Um, I just took out the nose ballast that I had in with the 3-cell and it weighs real close to the same as probably within a quarter of an ounce or less of what it weighed with the 3-cell. I think right now it's at uh, 23.9 on the weight in ounces. Um, and it did fly really well. That was the very first run on these batteries. I haven't really even had a chance to cycle them yet. And we got a speed clock of 98 miles an hour. And that's with that uh, small 4.5 by 4.1 APC prop. Um, I definitely think the plane has more speed in it. Once we get the battery cycled a few more times, I'm sure the plane will probably break into the 100 mile an hour range um, with this setup. Um, I do recommend though, if you're gonna plan on building the plane and running it with the four cell, not to run it on a hot day. Um, the temperature that we were at was about 75 degrees Fahrenheit when I was running the plane and the motor still got really, really hot. Um, it wasn't hot enough to turn the windings brown, but um, I would be afraid to run it in any hotter weather than that. Um, so be careful if you decide to run this on a four cell. Um, I wouldn't want to see you burn your motor up. Just make sure you do it on a cool day. If it's around, you know, 70 degrees or something like that, then it should be fine. Just remember to use some throttle control and don't run it wide open all the time and it should be all right. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up the video here. Um, please be sure to check out the video sidebar. I'm going to be putting links in there to this month's drawing. Um, where I'm going to be giving away a free basic kit of this plane, the Skyfighter version 2. It's going to include all of the EPP pieces already cut out and uh, beveled, and, along with all the hardware, um, which is going to be the motor mount, the cockpit, uh, the control rods and control horns, and also the rear stabilizers. Um, and this kit will be going up to somebody, some lucky winner at the end of this month. So please don't forget to sign up for our free giveaway. Um, there's more information on our blog. Again, I'm going to be putting a link to that in the video sidebar on this video. So please be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching RC Phone Fighters, and I'll see you again soon.